Here we go again, guys. You want to know what I'm talking about? Stick around. Hey, hey, YouTube. Welcome back to Urban Outdoors. Hey, I'm Urban. You knew that, didn't you? Guys, it is hot outside, so today Urban Outdoors is indoors. I thought this would be a good opportunity for me to go through and check some of my preps. And I want to see where I am. How much water do I have? How much food do I have? Do I have the resources to fuel my backup cooking methods? That sort of thing. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through, pull everything out, do a count. I'm going to make a list of what I need to improve on because guys, you know, the government and the media are pushing this Delta variant, which I think is just total rubbish anyway, but if they push it, idiots will fall for it, and if idiots fall for it, we're all affected. So I think as fall you can look for another shortage on toilet paper and food items, cleaning items, etc., etc. So make sure that you've got all that stuff now. Get it while you can. I just sent a text out to all of my friends and family. And I told them, I said, stock up on toilet paper, cleaning supplies, and food items, and water now. So get out there and do it while you can. Uh, I'll share with you some of the things that I stock up on and kind of where I am. I'm going to learn through this experience, so let's go through the basics, okay, of prepping. And I'm not going to get into so much tools and gear and all that stuff. I mean, you need to have that. I'm talking mainly the basics of life, what you need to live, food, water, and sanitary medication, that sort of thing. I am going to the store today just for prepping supplies, so I'm going to make a prepping list based on my assessment of what I have. You guys come along and I'll show you how, how you can do that, alright? Okay, so basically you want to take out everything or at least have everything where you can visually look at, count, take an inventory of the items you have. Let's take, for example, medical. This is my medical stash here. Over here and over here. And you want to make sure that you have things like band-aids, rubber gloves. I've got some sodium chloride, peroxide, alcohol. I've got things like Afrin, Visine, generic pain reliever, Nasacort, lots of gauze small gauze, large gauze, lots of tape, bandages, uh, rinsing elements, tweezers, scissors, trach supplies, got these little uh, syringes which are good, um, uh, cleaning stuff, hand sanitizer, this is all trach related stuff, these are my trachs, my inner cannulas, my trach cleaning kits, um, Got over here some antacid, neosporin, uh, pain relieving gel, uh, congestion medicine, mucinex. We've got several of these um, these cleansers. They're no rinse foam, so you don't need water. You can wash your hands up quick with those. Got those from the hospital. Mouthwash, things like that. Over here I've got, you know, my bleach. I've got more bleach inside this pandemic kit. I'm not going to go over everything that's in there, but masks, gloves, goggles, um, bleach, disinfectant, stuff like that. I've done a video on that before. You can go check it out. Again, making sure, again, specifically for my trach needs, I keep a good supply of my speaking valves. You can see I've got six boxes of those built up. So if something happens where I can't get medical supplies from my usual source, I'm set. 
But uh, again, just make sure that you have your medical supplies pertinent to your specific needs. And uh, in this little basket over here, these are my daily meds that I take. This is what I take on a regular basis. So I keep them separate. Also, with my reflux, I, I go through these like candy. But again, just making sure that your medicines are stocked up because what if you can't get to the pharmacy? I've got backup of all my meds right here. We've also got some generic stuff. Miralax, laxatives, painkillers, um, cough medicine, more cough medicine, uh, ibuprofen, bear aspirin, um, throat spray, um, all type. These are my wife's medicines that she takes every day. So, you don't want to forget about your medical stuff, guys. If you take medicine every day, maybe right now you have five or ten pills left. Well, what if you can't get that refilled? What are you going to do? I mean, all right, so water, the recommended by the Red Cross, water that you should have backed up for emergencies is one gallon of water per person in the household per day. You want to store your water in a dark, cool place. That's why I store mine right here in a spare bedroom. That's Barry, by the way. And uh, that's my wife's 22 semi-auto. But this is where I keep the water storage. But right now, we have, before I go to the store today, as of right now, this with the two six gallon containers we have in the other bathroom we have 44 gallons of water 44 gallons according to what the uh, Red Cross recommends at one gallon per person per day right now my wife and I have enough water for 22 days but like I say we also have a lot of Gatorade and stuff in the refrigerator so that you know, 22 days could probably extend out to a month after I add two more um, packages of water today when I go to the store. So make sure you have lots of water. Alright, so now let's take a look at food, okay? I really want to know how I am on food. What do I need more of? Do I have enough to last a while? So, as far as food goes, I feel pretty good. Now, this is just our prepping food, okay? This is in our regular rotation of food that we have under here. This is just what we have in these two cabinets, which is my prepping emergency food. We don't eat this stuff. You see, I put dates on everything, and we rotate out. Like, coming up in November, we're going to have to eat these pork and beans. But anyway, just some of the things that I think you should stock up on. Um, corn muffin mix. Um, down here in the south, we have to have our grits. So we got lots of grits. Peanut butter, pork and beans, sweet corn, uh, green beans, more pork and beans, green beans. Need to have some oil. You know, to fry up food in. Some extra sugar. We've got our regular sugar in the refrigerator. Meat. Uh, we got lots of uh, these uh, chunk chicken breasts in cans that we like. Denty Moore beef stew. Got one of these DAC hams. I need to pick up on, uh, another one or two of those. Um, you know, uh, Stuff to make stuff taste good. Of course, I got my spices and stuff over here, courtesy of NWA Prepper. And um, again, things to make stuff taste good, okay? Instead of just water, you can have lemonade. Or we got these little A&W packs you can add to water, and it makes water taste like A&W root beer. 
tea bags. Okay? So you don't have to just drink water in an emergency situation. I realized I have a heck of a lot of potatoes and not so much green beans. Uh, some corn, some black eyed peas, a whole case of soup here, chicken noodle soup, uh, mashed potatoes, uh, gravy to go with a lot of the rice. I got uh, two bags of five, seven pounds of rice. Plus, I have some in the refrigerator. I got a four pound bag of black beans there. Numerous pastas, elbows, spaghetti, lasagna, um, macaroni and cheese, different rices, zataran. These little fiesta sides are good. The nor uh, fiesta sides. Uh, a couple boxes of yellow rice. You know, things that will last a long time. And uh, you want to stock up on food that you actually enjoy. You know? Now, in addition to the meats here, what we would probably eat, go through first would be what's in our refrigerator. We have a lot of fish, chicken, beef. We have a, a lot of bags of corn, lime beans, black-eyed peas, more corn, uh, lasagna, stuff like this. Fish sticks, you know, just the regular. Got a big old bag of chicken breast here, another big old chicken here. There's some hamburger meat back behind the egos there. So that stuff we would go through first. And then in the refrigerator, in addition to the water storage, we have lots of Powerade, Gatorade, um, stuff like that. And again, stuff to make things taste good. Uh, we got a couple of bags of flour down here, cornmeal, sugar, and uh, we've got uh, salt uh, up in this cabinet. So... Um, I think I feel pretty good right now on food. Of course, I'm always increasing. When I go to the store today to pick up some more water and propane, I'm going to add to this. And I think I'm going to add some green beans and I'm going to add some uh, canned fruit because I don't have any canned fruit. But I think for me and my wife, this would last us I would say this would, I mean, heck, you make a lasagna for two people, that'll feed you for two or three days. And then spaghetti, and then you got the mac. I mean, I really think this would feed us with, addi in addition to what we already have, I think we could go if we had to ration th things out. I really do think that we could probably go well over a month if not more, just on what we've got accumulated. Like I say, that's this emergency supply plus what, what we already have. And it's just my wife and I, so, you know. But these are the kind of things you want to focus on. Things that you already like. Things that you like to eat already. And one thing I've noticed that I definitely need to add, we've got some down here. But I need to add some of this to my preps. So I'm going to put that on the list with the water and the propane and the canned fruit. But as far as food goes, I just wanted to touch on that. And again, if you're in the South, make sure you've got a stack of grits. I've done a video on this before, this portable outdoor butane stove. And it works on the little cans of butane. It's a one burner stove. But it's important for you to have a way of cooking if your power goes out. I also have a Coleman two burner propane stove in the Fox Den. So I could use that to cook. That way I'll have one, two, three eyes that I can cook on for me and my wife. That's more than I need. 
We could do everything we need to do on that Coleman stove or on this stove. Having an alternate way to cook, but also make sure you have the fuel. Okay, so based on what I have assessed, uh, here's what I am going to the store to get today. I got some regular grocery items that I need to get, you know, the honeydew list, that kind of stuff, regular food. But as far as prepping goes, here's some what I need to add today. Two more 24 packs of H2O. Two big jars of ragu spaghetti sauce for all this pasta that we have here. I'm going to get four cans of fruit, four cans of green beans. I'm going to get another type of canned meat like the Dax ham or something comparable. I'm going to get two packs of propane and two cans of butane. You know, if you do a little bit like this, guys, this small list, that's going to cost maybe, what, let's see, that's probably going to cost maybe $30 to $40, if that much. And just do a little bit like this every time you go grocery shopping or every time you get a paycheck. Add a little bit to it. Before you know it, you'll have what you need. Who says the apocalypse is going to have to be uncomfortable, right? Alright guys, anyway, I'm doing a video coming up soon about this whole mystery juice. Um, so stick around for that. Until next time, keep calm, carry on, keep it outdoors.